morning, kiddo. This is Pops. I just want to tell you I love you and miss you. I'm thinking about you. I'm laughing. I'm out here, man. I'm so ratchet. <clears throat> verse of the day, uh, it's 2.17.2022. Verse of the day, Proverbs 17.14 says, The beginning of strife is like letting out water. So quit before the quarrel breaks out. <clears throat> I like that one. Yep. And so, I was going to read the verse for today. February 17th says, Carrying the message, not the addict. They can be analyzed, counseled, reasoned with, prayed over, threatened, beaten, or locked up, but they will not stop until they want to stop. Basic text, page 65. No, that's not. Perhaps one of the most difficult truths we must face in our recovery is that we are powerless over another's addiction as we are over our own. We may think that because we've had a spiritual awakening in our own lives, we should be able to persuade another addict to find recovery. But there are limits to what we can do to help another addict. We cannot force them to stop using. We cannot give them the results of the steps or growth for them. We cannot take away their loneliness or their pain. There is nothing we can say to convince a scared addict to surrender the familiar misery of addiction for the frightening uncertainty of recovery. We cannot jump inside other people's skin, shift their goals, or decide for them what is best for them. However, if we refuse to try to exert if we refuse to try to exert this power over another's addiction, we may help them. They may grow if we allow them to face reality, painful though it may be. They may become more productive by their own definition, as long as we don't try and do it for them. They can become the authority on their own lives, provided we are only authorities on our own. If we can accept all this, we can become what we are meant to be, carriers of the message, not the addict. Just for today, I will accept that I am powerless not only over my own addiction, but also over everyone else's. I will carry the message, not the addict. You know, well, I, I mean, I ain't got much to carry right now. I'm just a newcomer kiddos, but I get what they're saying. And, uh, you know, I don't know, man. I just want to tell you, kiddos, man, that I love you, man. Um, pretty excited. I guess my mom and uh, Deekster, Malik, big brother today. And, uh,. Got an art show tomorrow and an art show on Saturday. Yeah, I don't know. It just cut me off, but I just want to tell you I love you. I miss you. I'm thinking about you, and I must. I'm gonna probably gotta check on my Ford or something. My phone, but I love you, kiddos. I miss you. I'm thinking about you. God bless. What's up, kiddos? It's pops. I just want to tell you I love you. I miss you. I'm thinking about you. I'm out here with your big brother Malik. Say hi, Malik. Hey. <laughs> we out here uh, in Chicago waiting for the. Uh, the damn uh, gas station, darn, excuse me, kiddos. The darn gas station to open. Guy went on the bathroom break. Said it's 20 minutes. Be back in 20 minutes. We walked up on the door. We don't know how long it's been. You know what I mean? Like, could have been one minute away. He could have just did it a minute ago. But So we just trying to stay warm down here under the little L train pass, whatever it is. But, uh, yeah, uh, pretty excited about tomorrow. The art show. See my mom. My mom's here. Son's here, so yeah, I'm blessed. So I just wanted you kiddos to know I'm thinking about you and I miss you and uh, I love you and God bless.